All right, guys. Um, let's just get right into it. We're going to talk about the Iron Twins boss. It's going to be coming out next week with patch 6.0. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Awakening, it's another new thing to make your champion stronger. I kind of feel like this is a, a rebuff for epics and rares, since they really didn't get a lot of love for the faction guardians, like when you can empower a legendary. Uh, so this is, feels to me kind of like their epic and rare empowerment. Uh, let's just kind of go over these guys' skills here real quick. All right, first ability, Voltaic Pendulums. They will attack one enemy first, and they'll place a 30% decrease crit rate on them for four turns. If they already have a decrease crit rate on that person, they will then get a weakened for four turns as well. After attacking the initial target, they will attack everyone, and they will give them decreased attack for four turns. But if they already have decreased attack, they're also going to get decreased uh, defense as well. And then we're going to have Fires of Insanity. They'll attack all enemies. Place or extend Iron Brain debuffs on all enemies. The duration of the Iron Brain debuff is given depending on each enemy's defense. The enemy with the highest defense gets 10 stacks. And then it mitigates itself down to 6. Because with 5 people on the team, it's going to go highest defense gets 10. Next highest gets 9. And then subsequently, 8, 7, 6. All right? Um, they will stop using this ability when they go below 40% HP. With this ability, though, so you know how every day is going to be a different um, affinity because you want to bring one affinity team in to mitigate damage and to mitigate the defense of the Iron Twins. So if it's going to be Void, you need to bring an entire team of Void in because if you don't, this will happen with these abilities. The defense will go up every time he uses this by a base of 2.5%. And then for everybody that's not of the affinity of the day, he'll go up another 1%. So if you have three voids and two non-voids, if he's already going up two and a half, he's going to get another 2%, which is going to make a 4.5% increase in his defense when he uses this ability. All right, now we have Ruinous Swath. And this is actually going to be the same as Fires of Insanity, but it's going to be for the attack. All right, so the person with the highest attack gets 10 stacks of Iron Brand, and then 9876 down to the person with the lowest attack. Okay, they will also stop using this ability when they're under 40% HP, and their attack will go up by 2.5% base and then another 1% for each person that's not of the affinity of the day. Make sense? All right, and then we come to the last active ability, which is Doomsday Machine. Well, attack all enemies two times. Each hit places an extension of the Iron Brand debuff, and this is going to be both for uh, attack and and for defense, all right? The first hit places an Iron Brain debuff whose duration depends on each enemy's defense. Highest defense get five, and you work yourself way down one, five, four, three, two, one. And then it'll do the same thing for the attack, all right? So it's going to hit twice. First one's for defense, second one's for attack. And then it's going to hit him with a laser beam. And this laser beam is going to deal damage, and the damage is increased for the stacks of Iron Brand on your team. And this laser base it ignores 30% of your defense. Now, when they use this ability, they will actually increase their base defense and attack by 4%, and then another 1% for each person that is not in the affinity of the chosen day. So do you see what I'm saying? They're going to get stronger every time they use an ability, and then you know it's going to get stronger, period, because, or even more so if you don't have people of the same affinity for that day, for that rotation. And they will also stop using this when they're below 40% HP. And now we come to the fun passive. Uh, retaliatory launch. Whenever the Iron Twins HP drops below these percentages, 85, 70, 55, and 40, which sounds an awful lot like Ice Golem, right? Like the most annoying boss in the game. Um, uh, they will remove all debuffs from themselves. Attack. It, will, it says instantly attacks and then removes all debuffs from the Iron Twins. I don't know if... well says attacks all enemies, then removes. So it sounds like the attack happens first. So if they have decreased attack on, I think it's going to help you out because then they just make sense. Okay. Um, they will fill their turn meter whenever anybody on your team gets a buff, but they will not if you place decreased speed on them. Uh, the Iron Twins receive 50% less damage from subsequent attacks uh, in a multi-hit skill. So like Brackus the Shifter, he... He's just going to be garbage with his six hitter and his three hitter. You you essentially want somebody hitting one time really hard, okay? And we can think of a couple of people like that. We can think of um, Coldheart, 
uh, Septimus, Royal Guard. I think these guys are going to be really good here uh, because they were always talking about bringing enemy max HP champions back in the limelight, even though they, they've really dimmed, but they're still used. I think they're going to come back and be... Uh, I mean, just as good as they once were, especially for this. Um, actually, it makes him really happy. I have a Septimus. I just pulled him a couple months ago, and yeah, boy, he smacks. That's all I can say. A uh, little derailment there, but also the damage reduction increases with every additional hit. So Brachus is hit six times. It's going to be 50% less each time of the one prior to it. Makes sense? So it decreasingly gets smaller, like a, you know, like a slope, like a circle. Um, the Iron Twins are immune to turn meter reduction effects, but they are not immune to decreased speed, which is a key to this fight. Um, that's actually all I wanted to cover now. And uh, yeah, that's another video I'm putting out today. Everybody have a wonderful day. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.